Well, I got a little problem with my four-wheeler. If I turn it on, choke it. Let it warm up for a bit, and I'll show you the problem. That problem right there. So there's our problem. We have a blowout. It's a nice slit. So that's why I've been losing power, and it's pro and that's probably why it's backfiring as well. So now I got to go up to our local motorcycle shop, uh, quad shop, and uh, go get this part. Hopefully they have it in stock. So I just called about that part. And it's called a rubber boot. And the guy quoted me at 40 bucks. And I said, okay, thanks. I went to value. Picked this up for $7.99. $8.49 with tax, I'm pretty sure. And for rubber, leather, all that shit. And it's industrial contact cement. And I like how there's warnings. That means it's powerful. And then right here it says resist to gasoline. So shit. For eight bucks, we're gonna try it. Nice little rig right there. Put some pressure on it. And now we're gonna wait right in the sunlight. So let's test this sucker out. Don't know if this is gonna start. Turn the gas on. Don't see any dripping, so that's a good sign. Choke on. Okay, didn't screw anything up so far. There you go, it's all bad together. Now I just gotta put all my damn tools away. Well, you're probably wondering why this thing's all apart again. Well, the boot. The problem that I had before, it uh, that rubber cement didn't work too good. I mean, it worked for about two weeks, flawless, and until uh, I was finally riding it, a big backfire happened. I said, "Oh shit, that boot must be freaking ripped again." And after that, the goddamn thing stalled out on me when it was just idling, and that's what happened last time when that boot was open. It just would turn off, it would just kill itself when it's idling. So, $30 later, and we got a new boot. So, we got it all apart. Now for the new boot. No more freaking messing around. Well, here's the new boot, and here's the old boot. This one's torn to hell. So, now I gotta take this o ring here off and put it on the new one. Well we just got the gas tank on and holy shit getting that freaking gas line back on was a bitch. All these freaking wires were in the way. Pumping up my knuckle again. So now we'll start it up and see if it starts. There we go, choke. Cool. It hasn't ran in about two weeks. Sweet. And it's all back together.